Hey everyone, it's Heather Nichols, and I have a card and tag set to share with you today that I created with the Modern Eucalyptus card making kit. Let me share the parts of the kit and the other supplies that I use to create my cards and tags. From the kit, I use the Modern Eucalyptus Layering Stencil Set. This is a set of four stencils that will create the two different sizes of eucalyptus swags. I also use the Coordinating Modern Eucalyptus Dies and the Scripted Sentiments Stamp Set. For other supplies not included in the kit, I'm using the Gemstone Thin Frame Cutting Plate along with Gold Foil Cardstock. I'm using my Bitty Blender Brushes and Pixie Spray. I'm adding Sparkle with Happy Medium Gold Glitter and I've got my Nouveau Media Spatula. For ink colors, I have Avocado, Poblano Pepper, Spearmint, and Mint Julep. I'll also be using Sugar Cube Ink and the Versafine Claire in the Nocturne color. I'll be using the linen background stamp. I'll also be using the Tag Stacklets 2 and Pierced Tag Stacklets 2 die collections. For adhesives, I have foam squares and multi-media matte. And for adding splatters, I have Copic Opaque White Ink, Chocolate Truffle Liquid Watercolor, and a water brush. I'm starting off with the Modern Eucalyptus Layered Stencil Set. Like I said, this is a set of four stencils, and you'll notice that there is a product number, and that number is followed by a one, two, three, and or four. This is a suggested order of stenciling your designs to get the best results. Now you're gonna notice that I don't do it in the right order, and I think as long as you start with the first one, the other ones aren't as critical as to what order you stencil the rest of the leaves in. I used Pixie Spray to secure the first stencil down onto an A2 sugar cube card panel and then I will stencil this using my Bitty Blender brushes with Mint Julep ink. There are card alignment squares on the top right corner and bottom left corner so I made sure to get those with the ink so that it will make lining up the other stencils easier. And then once I had added all of the color to the stenciled areas I peeled that stencil back to reveal that first layer. I'm ready to stencil the next layer and so I'll use the etched alignment guys. You can see there's some of the little branchy pieces that were a part of that first layer that you can line up as well as those alignment squares so that you can make sure everything falls into place perfectly. I'm stenciling this layer with spearmint ink. For the next layer I stenciled the leaves with poblano pepper ink and then for the last layer I stenciled the design with avocado ink and then I decided I wanted to add sparkle so I put the stencil back into place and added a layer of the happy medium gold glitter over the top. I used my Nouveau Media Spatula to apply the glitter paste and then once I have it scraped over the whole design I removed the stencil and I'm going to let this dry for about an hour before I do anything else with it. While that's drying I'm working on some other parts of my project. I'm using the gemstone thin frame cutting plate to cut out frames from gold foil cardstock. I also cut out tag bases for my coordinating tags. I'm using the Pierced Tag Stacklets 2 die collection and cutting that from Toppy cardstock and also the Tag Stacklets 2 die collection that I'm cutting from Spearmint cardstock. My stenciled eucalyptus panels are dry. I actually stenciled four of these to use for my projects and now I'm going to cut them out with the coordinating dies with my sidekick machine. I cut the eucalyptus pieces apart with a pair of scissors so they'll fit through my sidekick machine. I arranged the die over the images and held the dies in place with removable tape to cut them out. I wanted to add a little extra texture to my card background and my tags, so I stamped the linen background stamp using sugar cube ink, both on a panel of toffee cardstock that I'll use on the cards and onto the toffee tags that I cut out with the Pierce Tag Stacklets 2 die collection. I added splatters to my stamped backgrounds using Copic Opaque White Ink and Chocolate Truffle Liquid Watercolor. I picked up the color onto a water brush and then tapped that brush on my finger to splatter onto the projects. Okay, it's time to put these cards and tags together. I started off by adding the toffee cardstock tags and panels to the tag bases and the card bases. And then next I played with how I was going to arrange the gemstone frames that I cut out with that gemstone thin frame cutting plate die. You want to take two of the frames that are right next to each other and you'll have one one direction and then you'll flip the other one 180 degrees to create the gemstone design. 
I used a liquid glue. I like to use multimedia matte to adhere the frames down onto the toffee backgrounds. Next, I stamped the On Your Wedding Day sentiment in the center of the frames on the cards. I'm lining this up in my Misty and I'm stamping that with the VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. And then for the tags, I stamped the Always and Forever sentiment. The last thing I need to do to finish off this set of cards and tags is to add the eucalyptus. And so I played around with a few different arrangements and I landed on using the two larger pieces on the cards and then two smaller pieces on the tags. I added these with foam squares to pop them up just a bit. And then for the tags, I punched holes with a hole punch and threaded some burlap twine through to finish them off. I'm so happy with how this card and tag set turned out, and I hope you enjoyed learning how I created them. You can find the Modern Eucalyptus card making kit and the other supplies that I used in the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.